Hey there hikers, it's day two of Trail Days in Damascus, Virginia. We're starting off with some rainy weather, but we're going to go around and see who we can run into, see if we can get some interviews, and today is the day of the parade, so we're going to bring you along with us, rain or shine. Alright hikers, we got a score here. This is Steven from My Life Outdoors. How you doing? Now, this gentleman, he gives great reviews. He's honest with his reviews on gear, and he's very favorable with his techniques. He gives other people um, opportunity to share their techniques and um, he'll tell you what works for him and uh, we were glad to meet him today and we'll let him tell you a little bit about his channel. Yeah, I don't even know what to tell you. Just go check it out. Um, I try to dig into some of the science behind the gear and why it works the way that it does and so I would love to have you check out the channel. Like, subscribe and do all those other things. And that's My Life Outdoors. Hikers, we got a whole slew of YouTubers here. I'm just going to turn it loose to them and let them tell you a little bit about their channels and go from there. Let's go with the A list first. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm <laughs> RVA Hiker Girl. I'm from Virginia, and my channel is all about hiking and camping throughout the state of Virginia and the surrounding states. Okay, I'm Senior Hiker 77. That's when I started my channel. When I was 77, of course, now I'm 83, but I've been going by the name of Johnny Camper. And um, it's all about hiking, camping mainly now. So that's my channel, Senior Hiker 77. I'm Ice Bear. I have Ice Bear hikes, but recently I'm on Ice Bear Halfway Point is my channel. And I, just, I live in Pennsylvania. Hello, I am Spirit from uh, my channel is Tanya Browning. I'm from Southern Indiana and do videos from that area in Kentucky, other areas. <laughs> Hello there. I, my name is Tom Walker and my channel is Following Walker's World. It's about pretty much everything. Uh, mostly camping, backpacking, hiking. I'm from, well, I'm from New York, moved to Florida, and now I live in South Carolina by the Foothills Trail. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Kat and I'm from Steps by Katje and I'm from Belgium. And I came all the way here for trail days and I, my, my channel is about hiking, outdoors, some gear, whatever. And we're known for the Belgian chocolates. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm Trey. This is my AT mug here with the blue bla or the white blaze. Um, I don't. I'm not on YouTube, but I do have an Instagram channel. It's Deo Sil Photo, and I'm a photographer. Peter set up there all night. So, uh, really? Where did you hear that? That's radio territory, and they're letting us have that frame for the night. It's a lot different now. So you just in a theater setting, and we're going to release our sound out. Yeah, that's all our information. And he just hiked it in. Yes, and yeah, make sure you like get the winters here. Yeah, I like it this winter. Uh, What's yourself. different about it now? Sure. Uh, a lot like better kit. This is more, uh, a better blazing. It's a lot better. There isn't all the wires on top of that one thing. There's quite a few of those, but they're not as bad as they were. We've been... Okay. Uh, we need to get a sticker right there. Right on our trail. we got three stickers right down there where they do a lot of... So we go through here a little bit and come up along. White Sulphur is a great resupply because it's big enough town where they have an Amtrak station. You actually can, can train into there. They have uh, restaurants, grocery store, full resupply available in, in uh, White Sulphur. So those are my favorite. You would be comfortable. All right, we're here at the Sawyer booth. Sawyer's 
most known to backpackers is the people that have the uh, microfiltration. And um, they were pioneers in that. We have Oats representing them. And she's going to tell you a little bit about the company and about their work in foreign countries to help develop clean drinking water. Hi, I'm Oats. Uh, Sawyer Products is a company that's based in Safety Harbor, Florida. It was founded in 1984 as a kind of first aid company uh, and has since moved into water filtration and insect repellents. Um, the water filtration is really the heart of the business. Um, Sawyer donates over 90 percent of their profits to clean water work around the world. Um, with the hollow fiber membrane technology, it's affordable and long-lasting. Um, there are filters that, when we started doing international projects back in 2008, uh, that are still out there today with families, like providing clean water. And it's because we include training and maintenance programs and, um, well, truly it's the charity partners. Uh, I mean, we, we make the products and, and everything, but uh, we have over 140 charity partners in over 80 countries around the world. Um, so that's for transformational uh, community programs. So like literally clean water access for people where they are. Um, and then there's also disaster so like the uh, Rio Grande flooding in Brazil recently and um, you know all kinds of national natural disasters and refugee situations like we uh, try to be helpful wherever, wherever we can make a difference. All right, you could tell us about your permethrin as well. I would love to. Let me grab a bottle. Hi Murphy. This is our permethrin. This is our spokes dog Murphy. This is Travis's dog. He's a very good boy. Um, permethrin is amazing. This is actually very timely because it's Lyme Disease Awareness Month for May, and uh, if you are not a fan of ticks or mosquitoes, this may be a magical elixir. Um, basically, it's a gear and fabric treatment, so it's not something you would put on your skin. You would lay out your clothes, your backpack. I have a Mary Poppins supply, so I treat everything, my tent, my dog. Um, it can be used on fabric as delicate as silk. Um, and the statistic on it is wild. You're something like 73 times less likely to be bitten by a tick if you just treat your socks and shoes. And so treating outfits and your backpack and, you know, spatial repellent of your tent, like all of those uh, make for a much more comfortable backpacking experience when you're uh, trying to deal with any kind of biting bugs. So permethrin's kind of liquid gold. And uh, once you treat your stuff, it's good for six weeks of UV exposure or six washes in a washing machine. Uh, whatever comes first. Very good. Yeah. We appreciate the information. Of course. We're in luck. We've got Heidi here. She's the artist in residence for the Allegheny Trail for the whole summer. She will be at the 50th anniversary doing a workshop. She's going to tell you a little bit about what she's doing and her experience on the Appalachian Trail when she hiked that. Yeah, so I hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2018. It absolutely changed my life. It was one of my first long backpacking trips, and I had a great time, and I've been doing a lot of hiking ever since then. I kept a sketchbook on the trail and did a lot of paintings and then started this business where I do a lot of paintings inspired by the trail. And this summer I'll be doing an artist residency on the, Appalachia, or on the Allegheny Trail, which means I will be through hiking it, but I'm going to be carrying large sheets of watercolor paper rolled up in a tube and paints, and I'm going to be stopping along the way and doing some larger scale refined paintings from the trail, um, from observation, and by the end of the trail I aim to have 10 large scale uh, paintings that kind of illustrate the through hiking experience and the Allegheny Trail experience, um, and then I look forward to having those at the 50th and um, the Allegheny Trail, or the West Virginia Scenic Trails Association will have a few uh, products and merch and stuff available with that artwork on it. So I'm really looking forward to this summer. Sounds like a great summer for you. We appreciate it. All right, thanks so much. We're trying to share uh, important stories of the human condition. And uh, we are very honored that Ann Van Curren is back again. And she has a standing invitation for all of us. But to me, she's the epitome of the type of stories that we would like to have shared. Because it's inspiring. Uh, Very thought-provoking, uh, not sweet all the time. Life isn't sweet all the time. And so she does an excellent, excellent uh, 
one woman uh, play of Grandma Gaywood, and just not her as a hiker, but the most impressive thing of Grandma Gaywood was uh, her as a, as a woman. Uh, my name's Emma Rowena Gaywood, but uh, most folks just call me Grandma, because, I mean, by the time you're up to 26, grandchildren, and you're working on your great grands, <laughs> we got to learn that name of old grandma. <laughs> you know, most folks, when they're uh, talking with me, the first thing they want to know, uh, they want to know how I got the idea of doing such a thing anyway. Well, I'll tell you, I was sitting in the doctor's office, waiting for him to call me back one afternoon for my appointment. And I looked down at the table, and there on the table was a National Geographic magazine. You know how they help magazines out for you to read? Well, this one was August 1949. It was a few years old, but I was so glad he hadn't changed out his magazine because I started reading it. Oh, lousy day. There is a 14-page color spread all about the Appalachian Trail. Woo! It's a soul cheering, foot tempting trail as wide as a Mack truck. Well, all right. The food is easy to come by, okay. And the trail shot shelters are plentiful, spaced within a day's walk of one another. The Appalachian Trail, popularly known as the Appy Trail, is a public pathway that rates as one of the seven wonders of the outdoorsman world. Well, I was captivated. I didn't hear them call my name when the doctor called me back. And I carried this magazine back there with me. And I told him, I said, this here's a good article. And uh, let me read you, he, I said to him. I said, it says here, it's planned for the enjoyment of anyone in normal good health. The Appalachian Trail does not demand special skill nor training to traverse. <laughs> Trekking pole. The peak spot is going to be between 120 and 125 centimeters. Not too low, too. Different hikers trying to see what gear they're taking, see what kind of trends there are out there. So, if you don't mind, tell me, like, what's your, what's your victory right now? I brought that just in case someone All right, we're here, the host of the Wandering with Wilson channel. This is the lady known as Sweet Potato, and she'll tell you a little bit about herself. And she is a yoga instructor, and uh, she's kind of a celebrity on the trail. So <laughs> take it away. I don't know if you would say I'm a celebrity on the trail. I was introduced to the Appalachian Trail by my brother. He's here right now, currently bending at Between the Blazes. So I've been at trail days for the last seven years, just waiting for my opportunity to, to hike the trail. I started early March, and um, my, I think my number one focus for uh, attempting this through hike is to get to know the community and um, I've been really lucky to fall into that these last few weeks, and so I've met a, a lot of other hikers, enjoyed their stories. I am trying to keep it slightly healthy on trail. I got sick about a month ago just from all of the trail food, and so I carry a lot more real food. I am trying to incorporate my yoga practice while I'm out there, and I'm surprised by how many other hikers really want to um, bring health and wellness on the trail as well. All right, people, we got Ram Dino. Everybody should know him on the AT at least. He keeps track of everybody and makes sure people know the information that's coming out. And he's buddies with Fresh Ground, so I'll just turn it loose. You tell them about your situation and where they can find you. Uh, well, you can find me at uh, Ram Dino Hiking the Trails on YouTube and Instagram Ram Dino and Facebook uh, Ram Dino. I don't know, just, just do a Google search Ram Dino. <laughs> You'll find me. Uh, but the uh, main thing is, it's all about community out there. Appreciate all the through hikers and 
everybody in the hiker community is one of the greatest communities that I've, I've been a part of and just enjoy it every day and uh, yeah. come to my channel you get a taste of it but there's plenty of other channels out there and, and that's what I'm about is supporting the through hikers that are out there on the trail and, and just building the hiker community in general so uh, uh, go and take a look at it a lot of folks that you can go out there and, and that are on their through hike now and give them a boy or a girl or how do they and they just they always appreciate that and and I can't tell you how many times they've come to me and said, hey, uh, I appreciate people reaching out. That just kind of gets them over that, that bad day out there that they're having on the trail. So uh, go and check them out. Uh, you can go to my channel down in the description section, and, and there's a link there to everybody that's on my support list. And we got about 200 and something hikers that are on that support list that are through hiking right now.
three. Three, three, baby. What up, Jim?